moment that you could do anything you wanted in film and you could evoke it in a way that re made you respond not only in an intellectual way but also in a spiritual and an emotional way yeah. and since that moment I guess when I was 15 I realized that there was nothing in life as exciting as motion pictures and cinema and though most m movies and cinema are not very good uh, occasionally one will be worth the effort yeah. uh, that it became so that became the paradigm or the model for me that if there could be one or two or three films that could achieve this kind of alchemy then uh, it's possible and yeah. since it's possible I wanted to try to achieve it I I, I personally think that you know cinema is is really an alchemical art form, and mm. it has not been given. Uh, today, we're now developing the technologies where people who are not wealthy and do not have a lot of money behind them can actually create some interesting films. Yeah, exactly. This has just you know, come into fruition in the last 10 years or so. Before that, of course, you needed millions and millions of dollars to be able to make a film. Yeah. And so only someone who was extremely talented could work their way up into the upper realms of cinema and be able to do what they wanted. So you, only a, a Bergman or a Kubrick could actually do it. Mm -hmm. And today it's now opening up. The whole field is opening up. Everything is in an incredible state of flux and change. Yeah. Very exciting. And I think we're going to see some some very bad films being made, and yeah. occasionally I think we're going to see some very good films being made. Yeah, and I'm very excited. Absolutely, yeah, I, t I totally agree, and uh, that that w that is what happens when we <laughs> when we are able to open up the the arena in in the kind of way that the uh, digital media has has brought. But uh, I just I'm just qu curious here. Do you work uh, digitally? Do you uh, work? I do. I. Um, I used to shoot film, and I love film as a you know as a medium, and I think it's in many ways superior to the digital medium. But I can't compete economically with the digital medium. It is just so cheap to yeah. make a film yeah. that it's it's just beyond. There's no comparison. I mean, exactly. A, a, a reel of a, a film costs up you know, eight or nine hundred dollars. Hmm. Uh, for ten minutes, and I can get an hour of digital for you know five bucks. Yeah, exactly. So I, I can't compete with it. So what I've done is I've tried to, uh, I've tried to massage the digital medium into uh, making it as palatable as I can yeah. towards the look of cinema. Yeah, I, I think I've achieved that. I think I've got a ways to go. But there's a lot of other people that are working on the same thing. I'm not alone. Um, this is happening all over the world. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to make a prediction that in five or six years, if the human race survives, uh, we're going to have a real golden age of, of cinema. Yeah. And I think it's happening. I think we're just right at the birth of it right now. Mm, exciting. Yeah, because yeah, I, I know that in film editing uh, software there are Amazing plugins now that you can do, you know, miracles with if you got a, uh, to to take away just as you say the the digi the digital feel of it and make it this analog uh, kind of mush out the colors and, and really you know uh, get the best out of the footage so, so to speak. So yeah, that that's is that's right. I think I think that's exactly right. I think that 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 we have to uh, I don't do uh, in my filmmaking I don't do uh, MTV kind of trickery mm -hmm. thing like that I, I try to treat the subject that I'm approaching with complete respect yeah uh, I don't need weird camera angles or fast cutting uh, it, to me that that means you don't have any content yeah. I like to say the three most important words in filmmaking are content, content, and content. <laughs> so, you know, if you don't have content, then all of your technical expertise is useless. Yeah. And I think that that's that's my strongest suit in this is that I do have a lot of good content, 
and I also know the technical side, although I'm not an expert in the technical side, I know it enough to be able to pull off what I think needs to be done. And I've had people watch my new film, 2012, The Odyssey, mm -hmm. and actually commented to me that they thought that I shot it on film, which oh. is the greatest compliment I could have ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, is it by the way is is that uh film out yet or It's 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 going to be opening across the United States and Canada in um November, December and January. Mm. And then worldwide after that, although it is showing in England and France and in South Africa in uh November and December and uh, then it'll open up on well, I don't know, maybe a major distributor will take it up. Um, there's a big chance of that happening. If that happens, then, then the whole game changes. But if that doesn't happen, it'll be released on DVD mm. in February or March of 2007. Excellent, excellent. And let's uh, return a little bit later and, and talk more about that. But I want to get into um, the uh, Alchemical Cinema, your latest book now. And, and you mentioned uh, 2001, of course, that movie. But have you... For this book, have you used, uh, you know, ha have you analyzed a few, a few movies just and 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 kind of uh, used this uh, alchemical filter, so to speak, to analyze uh, different movies? Or how many um, movies have you have you been uh, been looking at here? Well, there's probably about 20 films that are mentioned in the book, Alchemical Cinema. But it's what I've done is I, I've 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 taken the Alchemy can be broken down into four aspects. Reality can be broken down into four aspects, but alchemy has is, is, is in many ways a four-part process. And uh, just like there's there's four brains and you know there's four letters in the DNA. Mm, yeah. The, I, I I took the four levels of the tree of life um, and, uh, and the central pillar. And then I used films to evoke each one of these uh, sephora into showing people that each different level of alchemical reality uh, can be unveiled in, in certain ways. And then I used films, certain films, to show how this is unveiled. And, of course, 2001, A Space Odyssey, uh, of which you can read my article, Alchemical Kubrick, on my website, yeah, yeah. free of charge, is uh, is really, to me, the greatest alchemical film of all time. Mm. And um, and I also use Lord of the Rings, uh, both the book and the movie, to show that there is a history uh, going back thousands of years. You may or may not know that Tolkien insisted that Lord of the Rings was the true history of Europe yeah. 7,000 years ago. What? And um, and I, I, I try to show that this is exactly right and that it's actually an alchemical history. Hmm. Vulcan insists that his books are about the closing of the, what he calls the Third Age and the beginning of the Fourth Age. Yeah, And that coincides directly with the knowledge from the cross of Hende, which says that each age is 6,500 years long and that the end of the third age happened 6,500 years ago, exactly when Tolkien dates his books, hmm. and that the end of the fourth age is at hand right now, and we are in the throes of the death of the fourth age, of uh, the age of iron, the Kali Yuga, yeah. depending on what terms you want to use to describe what's happening right now. Hmm, very interesting. So each of these films tries its best, each of these essays tries its best to show that these films that I'm using in the texture of the book are describing certain...